Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. Um, if you remember a few months ago when I first started messing with Chrome OS Flex on this channel, I had uh, two laptops I was trying it on. The Asus L210M here, which is what I used to make most of my videos, and the 2011 MacBook Air right here, currently plugged into my video capture device. And um, <clears throat> it worked a lot better on the Asus. And so I, that's why I've been using this this whole time. Uh, on the MacBook Air, Linux didn't work, SD card didn't work, which par for the course for me. And um, the experience just wasn't as good. Well, fast forward, we're now on Chrome OS Flex version 104, and I decided to try it again on the 2011 MacBook Air. And not only do we have SD card support, which you saw in my last video if you watched that, but we have Linux now. Linux works. And um, I don't know why. I didn't change any settings. But it works. So, this is great. Uh, because even though this model is quite a bit older than my Asus, it does have a Core i7. And it seems to be a little faster. Um, they both have 4 gigs of RAM, so nothing special there. But it just feels a little snappier. The one downside to this MacBook Air is uh, the battery life is about... 10 minutes on it, roughly. So I can't really use it, not on the power adapter. But other than that, it's pretty well a better computer in most ways. Oh, and the other problem with it, not the MacBook's fault, but uh, I don't know if you can see that. Well, you can't see it. Oh, maybe you can. The screen has a big crack on it here. Ugly to look at. But that doesn't matter when it's plugged into my video capture device. So, uh, yeah, it works good. I'm probably going to be using the MacBook, actually, to do uh, my Chrome OS Flex videos from now on. I'm, we're going to try a bunch of Linux stuff on it, see how it runs on there versus the Asus. But, uh, so this is good. So, I think there's a lesson here, and um, they're obviously improving Chrome OS Flex pretty rapidly. Because I've only been making Chrome OS Flex videos for two or three months here, and... Um, at the beginning, it barely worked on this thing, and now it's like spot on. So I encourage anybody who uh, tried Chrome OS Flex in the past, it maybe didn't work so good on your laptop, things didn't work, uh, go ahead and give it a try now. Why not? Because, um, yeah, it, it sucked on this laptop before, and now I love it. So, so yeah, that was the point of this video, really. Um, they're obviously fixing stuff. It, uh, if you had a device that didn't work great in the past, it might work great now. I might actually try it on my uh, big desktop over there next and see what's improved on there. But yeah, so it just shows. Give your old laptop a try again. I'm going to be, over the next uh, few weeks here, I'm going to be doing Chrome OS Flex videos on the MacBook Air. And um, it's good stuff. So that's what's up. Didn't work before, works great now. I'm excited. I can tell that you're excited. So that's what's up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, and yeah, I'm really excited about the Linux thing because, you know, there's no way on the MacBook that I know of, at least without Mac OS installed, to go and enable CPU virtualization. So I don't know what changed. But I'm glad it changed because it works now. So that's where we're at. Go ahead and like the video if you liked it. If you're as amped as I am, that uh, Flex works good now on this uh, MacBook Air. Well, that's all I got for you. Have a good day, right?